What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Sinister uh, behind the camera. All right, y'all. This is for all my new CDL drivers that's coming out here in trucking. Um, this is one of my techniques that I use actually when I'm going to new places where I've never been to drop off a load or pick up a load. On your smartphones or your tablets, whatever you're using that has internet... Um, that has internet, uh, you got you, you can use your internet. What you want to do is get Google Earth because in Google Earth, you can actually. I, I, I got an address I got right over here where the mouse is, right up over here. Now, I'm gonna hit search and I'm gonna take you to a place that I actually um, dropped off my trailer before I came home. This is U.S. Cold Storage. This is the place I went to drop off my trailer. Now, over here on my right-hand side over here, I can zoom in. Uh, you see, that's... Now, when you come into this place, now... Let me see if I can move it. I'm going to show you how I came in. I came down this street. I came down this street right here. Made the left. Come right here. Made the right. Parked along right here. Let me grab my pen because it's easier. I came down this street right here. Down here. Made the right. Parked along here. Checking is the check-in building. Uh, the office is right here. So I sat here. I checked in. Went around the back. And I backed into this door. This is the place. I actually did that um, video about my one year anniversary driving with night. So when you get Google Google Earth. When you get to Google Earth. Google Earth. Look at where you're going. You see how I got the tag for the building. That was the address. So now I know the entry to the place. So, I use this as one of my navigation tools, along with my, my Ram McNally um, tablet, my Zonar GPS. But this gives you the actual building, you know, you get to see the actual real um, descriptions of the building. You know, back in the days, you know, maps didn't show the actual layout of buildings like this. This is real satellite imaging that you're seeing right here. So, let me uh, zoom it out. So y'all can see it. And this is one of my one of my techniques I like to use. So you see that? And this is a highway right here. Now in Google Maps, Google Maps is actually going to tell you what interstate highway this is that's running right here. So um when you come in in the truck and get your smartphone so you can have this feature. You know, the layout the layout might be a little different on this side because I'm on my laptop. And um shout out to Staples real quick. They they got my lab pack, my my lab my laptop back up. I said lab lab pack. My laptop back up and running. So shout out to uh Staples and the text there. So anyway, that's how that looks. So again, use Google Google Earth to find the entry to places you go because you don't want to go somewhere new that you've never been and you don't know how to get in the place. So again, let me grab my pen. I came down this street. I came down this street right here. Made the right. Came down here. It was trucks parked here, you know, like for the for the day, and I came right up in here, parked along here, and I walked into the corner part of the building. I'm gonna zoom it in. You see that? So that that's just one of the best things that 
I use because I get to see where I'm going, where's the entry, because you don't want to get somewhere where you turn into the wrong place and then you can't get out or you got to back out and then it becomes a problem. So that's something that I feel is a definite tool to have. Get it. That's what I'm going to tell y'all. Get it. I use it. A lot of people that I know use it to their best to, to help them find the right place to enter facilities and warehouses and stuff like that. So, um, get Google Earth on your phone. Use it as a trip planning. And when you look at places like this, it actually becomes like a photographic memory. And then another thing that I do is on Google Maps, like it shows the name of the street, the, the highways and stuff like that. So I actually stopped really using Google Earth. I started using Google Maps and make sure that on your phone, your Google Maps have satellite, uh, the satellite box checked. And it'll give you this vision of real realistic building images and streets and stuff like that. But this is one of the tools that I use to find places I need to get into. So use this as a great uh, a great uh, navigation tool. And um, I'll do something with Google Maps to show y'all like the difference between the two. So. Um, that said, I'm not going to make this video long, but get Google Earth, get Google Maps, because hey, it's going to help you out there. It's going to prevent you from going down and entering the wrong, you know, some places you go when you go in to drop off a load or pick up a load. Some places you have one way you can turn in and it actually could be the employee's parking lot. And then now you got to back your truck up into a, a busy street. Or, you know, you turn too soon and it ain't the right place you need to be and there's nowhere to turn around. Plus, it also helps you to find a place down on the street you might have missed your entry to your destination and you can go in and turn around. I use that many times with Google Maps. So, Google Earth is good and Google Maps is even excellent. So, this is my tip of navigating and going places that you need to find. So this is your boy Sinister. Hope this helped y'all out. So get Google Earth on your smartphones. Start using that. If you don't use Google Earth, use Google Maps. Google Maps actually shows you everything I'm showing you, but uh, have the name of the street and stuff like that. So, and that's it. This is your boy Sinister. I'll holla at y'all. Peace out.